it's so hard. Welcome back to my channel to the witchy reader. So we are gonna do the end of year two uh the end of year tech book tag, whatever it's called. Uh, um it's kinda late because I know people do this at least a month or two beforehand. So they have time to actually, you know, try to read as many more books as they can before the end of the year, but I kept pushing it off and then I got sick and then I just didn't want to do it. So I'm doing it now. Yay. I have the questions here. Um, so let's just get into it, shall we? Number one is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Let's see. Well, I have Cookie Kingdom, but this is something I definitely am going to finish uh, tomorrow, hopefully. Um, ow, I hit myself with my book. You did not see that. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> and then, oh, Ellis is over there laughing at me. I feel very laughed at. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyways, moving on. Uh... This is definitely something I want to finish tomorrow because I read a, a good chunk of this today. Like most of this that's been read, I read today because uh, I got really into it. And but I'm tired, so I don't think I'm going to do any more. And if I do any more, it may only be a chapter, maybe two. Maybe I can get to the exact middle, like get to part, what part is it? Would that be part four, I think? I need, I'm almost on. I think I only have a couple chapters left to get to part four of the book. Part... Yeah, part four. I might see if I can do that tonight. That's just two chapters, but the chapters are long, so it might seem like it'll take forever. I don't know. We'll see how I feel after I make this video, shall we? <laughs> um, number two. Do you have any? Bleh, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Oh wait, that I didn't finish the first question because this is the only book I need to finish. My mind's not here tonight. It's late. It's almost midnight. Do not judge. <clears throat> I'm also still reading Lore and Final Girls, which I wanted to do this month. Heck, I've been reading Final Girls since, o no, yeah, October 31st. I started that book, and then I started Lore sometime in November, but then things happened, and I never did get to around to finishing them. But they are, I mean, it's not like I'm not enjoying them. I just, maybe I wasn't in, wasn't in the mood to read them at the time. I'll finish them eventually. I didn't want to finish them soon, because why I started them right now was because I wanted to read the standalones I have because I don't own many standalones because I don't I'm I'm more into series so I wanted to read like the only two standalones I owned and get them over with so that's two books that I'm done with and I can get to my many series and some of my series I own are long my charm one is like 42, 42 books and then my warriors book has 46 books in the series plus 14 super editions plus like seven novellas I think well, actually, there's, like, more than that, but they put, like, three novels in all together. So, there's, like, seven when all the novels are put together or whatever. Then there's, well, there's a bunch of mangas as well, but I don't plan on reading those. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's a lot of books. But, yeah. Number two is, do you have an uh, autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? Um, I don't know. I'm also rereading Secrets and Harry Potter. Man, I'm rereading. I'm reading a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, I doubt. I mean, I know I won't be finishing Harry Potter or Seekers uh, before the end of the year because I'm only on book two of both of them. <laughs> and um, Seekers, there's 12 books, and Harry Potter, there's seven. Um, but I am going to take a break from rereading Harry Potter just because someone I was talking to is planning on rereading Harry Potter as well. Um, starting in January, and so once she reads the first two books, we are going to buddy read the third to seventh book, because why not? <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, um, so I'll be transitioning to the new year, rereading Secrets and Harry Potter, and reading Lore and Final Girls. Um, the one book I, well probably, I'm going to see if I can finish them this month, but no promises. I don't know if I'll even be able to get fully into them. I mean, they're good so far, I'm just, I don't think I'm... In the mood to read those two books. Final Girls I can kind of understand. Because even though I love horror movies. I've never really. Uh, you know. Reached out to for horror books. But with lore it's fantasy. And it's a, you know Athena's in it. And she's my favorite goddess. So I don't know why I'm not. I haven't finished that already. 
I don't know. I think I got to a tiny slump at the end of November, at the beginning of December, and then I got sick. So I wasn't doing that much reading, but I'm hoping to change that because I want to get a lot of reading done in um, 2022. So let's see if I can actually do that. Number three is, <clears throat> is there a new release you're still waiting for? Um, I'm thinking. I Because the... the because they just released a new um, Warrior Super Edition, the 14th one, which I don't own yet. And then um, a new uh, of the Twisted Tales, one about Rapunzel, just came out. And I want to read that, but I haven't bought it yet either. Um, I was trying to think. Well, I'm waiting for the fourth book in... No, yes, fourth book in... Um, crap, what's it called? My mind's just not here today. <laughs> don't say anything. Yes, I'm looking at you. What? What? I hate when you hear what you say. Um... Let me think. Um, I forgot what it's called now. But the first book is called Maeve. But the series name just slipped out. The Shadow Realm Chronicles. That's what it's called. Okay. It's late. Um, and then the third book in a Daughter's Ransom series. I'm really looking forward to that one. Because those books are amazing. Which And both series are self-published and on Amazon. And I highly recommend them. And I'm just waiting for the fourth, third book of those series. Is. Well, actually, the third book I think comes out... Soon, like really soon. I think it comes out at the end of this month or beginning of next month. So once I have a little money, I'm definitely buying that, no doubt. Um, and then I have no idea when the fourth book of Sh uh, Shadow Realm Chronicles comes out. But um, I think those are the only books I'm waiting for. Because I don't usually read series until after they are finished. Uh, I don't do that on purpose. I don't just wait until the finish is done before I read it. That's just I usually don't even hear about it or at least get to it until it's finished. But then I found those two series that I loved, and they're not finished, and now I'm like, now I want to read the next one, so I'm not used to having to, this whole waiting period to do, so it's not fun. <clears throat> Number four is, what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Three books. Well, Crooked Kingdom, Lore, and Final Girls, but Crooked Kingdom definitely I'll get done because I'm enjoying it so much. I'm so into it, and I'm so invested. Uh, but Laura and Final Girls, I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but I do want to. We'll see. I'm going to try to do that this last week of December. I might focus on those two books and take a break from Seekers and Chamber of Seekers. Um, well, I'm going to take a break from Chamber of Seekers anyways. Uh, I'll give her a little bit more time to catch up. And because I'm also tabbing now, now that I have tabs, I've, I, I, I reread like most of my books and I been tabbing them all year that and then i tabbed the new books i'm reading that i haven't read before and um i the my harry potter books the story behind how i finally got hold of those copies are my first the first one sorcerer stone i got from um i got from uh my one of my uh closest friends uh victoria she gave it to me because we both love Harry Potter. And then the Prince Chamber Seekers, the Prisoner Escobar, my mom and my best friend's mom, Kat, both um, got, found them at a uh, garage sale or something like that and bought them for me because, uh, well, the, everyone knows my obsession of Harry Potter. That's no secret. Um, but uh, the Chamber Seekers one was really badly destroyed. I just didn't know it until I finally opened it when I decided to finally reread it, which I've been meaning to do since I got them. And then I bought the rest. But, so, I'm going to wait because um, I have, I'm about to buy the Chamber of Secrets and I'm going to uh, wait until I have an actual good copy of Chamber of Secrets before I uh, continue rereading it because I just started. I'm only on Chapter 5 of my reread. But I'll take a break from rereading Seekers too. I'm on the second book, Great Bear Lake, so that I can focus on Final uh, Girls and Lore. I almost said Final Lore. I wanted to mix those two books. Why? I don't know. Final Girls and Lore. Okay, moving on. Five. Is there a book you think you that you, blah, blah, blah. is there a book you think you you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Hmm. I have a couple favorite books of the year. But this is definitely going to be one of them. Well, the duology itself is going to be one of them. But yeah. And then Adult is Ransom. But no. as much, Even though I am liking Final Girls and Lore. Even though I am uh, um, finding it hard to get into it right now at the moment. Um, I do like them. But I don't think they're going to shock me and become a new favorite. Um, but you never know. Maybe you'll get that good by the end. 
Number six, have you already started making reading plans for 2021? Oh, that says 2021. It's supposed to be 2022. Oops. Uh, this was probably last year's, uh, what I have. Okay, um, read plans for, uh, 2022. Yes. Um, so, I want to, there's a lot of books I own that I, because I did get into a slump this year, a pretty big one for several months. Um, and then, um, when I was, at the beginning of the year, I was working at Herf Jones, and I was doing a lot of overtime, like, a lot, and they were paying us extra money and stuff, and it was, it was, a, it was a thing, and I was making, I was making a lot of money, so what did I do? I bought a lot of books, but I was so, I was working 10 to 12 hours, so I was so tired that I never had, I either didn't have time to read, read really read much, or I was, or I, uh, was just, you know, busy, and I couldn't, so I bought all too many books, and I couldn't read them all, and then after I got laid off from that job, I got into a slump, probably from barely being able to even read for several months, so yeah, that was not fun, uh, um, but I did get back, in, but my son finally got over in October during the month I read -thon. I read 14 books, best month, reading month of the year, I'm gonna see if I can top in next year, Probably not, but we shall see. <laughs> <clears throat> but all these books that I do um, have that I haven't read that I've been wanting to, I want to finally read in 2022. And even if I do buy new books, I will put these books in priorities, in my top priorities. Um, like Warriors, that's something I, that's, I actually started Warriors when I was 17 and living with my friend for a few months. We were living, we lived together for like six months and, uh, she, she's not the biggest reader, but she's obsessed with the Warriors series and I already love Seekers, as you all know, and I wanted to read Warriors for a while and I was living with her now and so we were like, you know, why not I just borrow, uh, her books. So I read the first 12 of the actual series in the first super edition um but I'd, and then I moved back to Illinois and I never finished but then I but when I had that job I finally bought when I, I finally bought all of them but I never read them uh and then and ever ashes I've had since I've been one I've had I remember in ashes and uh, um Ash Princess, I've had since, like, high school, and I still haven't read them, but I really want to, and why I haven't read them is beyond me, because I honestly don't know, um, well, yeah, I own, she read uh, them, I read, I bought the first book of both series in high, high school, but I never read them, and then I finally, when I had that Harf, Harf Jones book, is when I finally bought the other books, I bought the two Ash Princess books, and then the last two of the An An Ember and the Ashes books, because the second book I actually won, because I did this whole, there's this contest on Twitter, that someone was gonna give, if you won, someone was gonna gift you a book from your wish list, and she actually gifted me the second book in An Ember and the Ashes, and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's the fates telling me to finally read the series, but I still have it, but I will, that's one of the first books I want to read in 2022. And Ember and the Ashes and Ash Princess because I've owned them for so long. They wanted to, and those are probably the books that have been on my TBR the longest, not including Warriors. And I want to read all of Aaron Hunter's books because I'm obsessed with Aaron Hunter. And I want to finally read all of their books. Um, and I want to finish the Shadow and Bone uh you know, the Grisha verse finally because um after Crooked Kingdom in January and February uh. Jessica and I will be buddy reading King of Scars and Rule of Wolves as well. So I'll finally finish the Christophers. That's also on my top priority. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of books I want to finally read. Um, I'm going to see if I can finally get to get to them. I really hope I can. I think I can get to all of them because um, I think my t reading my, re my reading year is going to be a lot better in 2022. Um, so yeah. Uh that is my plans for the upcoming year, my reading goals. Um, channel goals, I'm going to talk about my channel goals so you guys know. Um, I do know that I told you a while ago about one series that I've created that I haven't actually started yet. But it's going to be where I um, talk, each video I'll be talking about a different underrated series. 
um, Seekers, I'll be doing two videos for because uh, the first series is actually called Seekers, and the second one is called Seekers Return to the Wild. Um, so I'll be doing one for the first six books and one for the second six books. But I wanted to wait to do this start of this series until I reread Seekers, and I'm rereading Seekers now. As you guys know, I am. I started. I think I'm on chapter four of um, Great Bear Lake. But I got so into Crooked Kingdom, and I really want to finish it this month because that was the plan for Jessica and I. And now I'm really invested in it, and I don't want to stop reading it. <laughs> so I kind of took a break from Great, Great Bear Lake for a moment because Crooked Kingdom was just getting really interesting. But I love Secrets as much as I did the first time I read it, and I never get tired of that series. But yeah, so that definitely will be the first book for that series. And I am also decided I want to do this uh, another series. I'm waiting until I have a little bit more money because I'm probably going to need money for this idea but it's where i pit two different booktube friends against each other these, i've seen a few other booktubers do this and it sounds it seems like a lot of fun it's called which booktube friend knows me knows my reading taste best or something like that and basically my both booktube friends will um, make a video recommending and why they recommend the two books to me and then i will um I guess, like, make a reading vlog of me, my reactions to the books, and see if I end up actually liking them, and they will try to, so the plan is to, for, to see which one knows my reading taste better, so, so they'll have me try books that I, they think I like, um, and maybe I won't need money for this, because I might, because if I'm unsure about the book, I might just rent it at the library, um, because I don't want to buy a book I'm not sure I'll even like, but, they, so, basically, they'll both make a video of two books they're recommending to me and um, why they're recommending it to me, why they think I'll like it, and then I'll read it, see if I end up liking it, and whichever friend, and then I'll choose which one I, which one, um, won that round, and then the ne then that one will move on to the next round and be put up, pit up against another one of my booktube friends. So, that is my plan. Um... So that is exciting, and I'm excited to start that. Um, so what I'm going to tell them is to, uh, since they are doing two books, um, I'm going to say how they should probably recommend at least one book that is probably to be on the safe side if they want to win should probably be fantasy because, let's be real, if they want to win, one of the books has to be fantasy or they probably won't win. Sorry, y'all. But then the other one, they can try to go outside of my comfort zone a little bit but still try to get something they think I will like. So that is my, so that's plan for that series. Um, so I've already um, thought of like Book to friends, my closest book to friends I want to be part of. I don't know who I'm going to choose to do it first, but it's exciting and I'm excited to do that. Um, but yeah, so I, I that's all the uh, channel goals and reading goals I can think of at the moment that I have for my channel, but that's always change, that's always going to change and stuff as things progress. Uh, oh, yeah, one more thing I do want to start making more uh, reading vlogs or vlogs period because I love making my writing vlogs um I have a lot of fun making those and I, well I have a lot of fun writing period and um I do want to so I want to content so I want to start making writing vlogs more often and I made my first set of reading vlogs in October and it was a lot of fun uh, I made four in October one for every week of October for the Monster High Readathon. And now I'm making my first non Monster High Readathon reading vlog. So it has nothing to do with the Monster High Readathon, obviously, since that's over for now. Um, but uh, I'm excited for this reading vlog. Um, I have no idea when I'm going to upload it. So don't hold me to it because I have no idea when I'm going to upload it, like at all. But um, honestly, it's probably going to be near. Uh, close to the beginning of January, maybe shortly after I upload my wrap-up or TBR and do those, and that's probably going to be the next video I upload. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, though, so I do want to make more vlogs because I have a lot of fun making them, and I know a lot of people do love vlogs. Uh, so, I hope to do that. And now I think I am done with my channel and reading goals for now. Um, 
but yeah, I do plan on uh, writing a lot, as of obviously, and I do want to publish uh, the sequel to the Witch, the Witch, the my mind's going blank, the Curses Light, the Witch of Light, uh, soon, and I want to publish the Jasmine Prince sequel soon. So yeah, I'm gonna work on those heavily in the next few months and try to get those done. And that is all for this video. Please like, and subscribe, and comment. Uh, your answers or if you do this video, I would love to watch it and comment um, Whatever you want for um, and we'll chat below in the comments